So loading into customs again, we had a very successful raid just previously. So we're going in with the kit we found, the tier 5 armor and everything. We need to go to the truck uh, and that is to get the bronze pocket watch. So that's going to be the main goal of this episode. So just spawned in here. Look to be on the big red side. So I know there could be a spawn up ahead. So I'm going to take it relatively slow. I think someone can spawn just in front of us here. Looks to hopefully be clear so we can just run straight through here. Sprint across. I hear scavs, so it must have been players probably aren't around here. Nice scab over there. Can't see him, I'm just gonna try and run straight through. Can loot this up. So our quest. Just had a gunshot and a scab to my right, I believe. Okay, so it should just be up here towards our left. It's a bit of shooting to our right. I think that's our quest just there. So if everything looks safe, I'm just gonna try and get in here. Hopefully not get shot in the back of the head. And that's the watch got in. So now we can slowly make our way towards... Oh, I'm dead in one shot. I can't believe that. That's crazy. Armor doesn't mean anything. So apparently I just got a headshot with some of the worst ammo. The 366 FMJ and it literally just one tapped me. Thought my helmet was a tier 5. Um doesn't look like it's head eyes so I don't really know what happened maybe he hit me in the air or something but yeah that's pretty unlucky uh, we will run it back so I just got out of a raid uh, on customs and I had quite a lot of success as you can see here so I actually took down a player he had full tier 5 armor uh, we got his MDR which is pretty nice he had a bag full of components diaries and things like that uh, we managed to extract after dying so many times so we've actually got a nice kit to work with. The other good thing is, is that we've actually completed the quest. We got the bronze pocket watch. So I can turn this into prep or just now. And that is a quest I've been trying to do for a while now. So we finally got that quest done. Oh, there's a little bit of lag for some reason. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So now we got two new quests, delivery from the past and shoot our picnic. Okay, so just cleared up my inventory a little bit. I'm actually going to take out this kit um, and we'll try and do some more quests. So we'll see what we have here. Then secure folder, customs. I won't do. Th Maybe I could do this one. This one, I'm just going to have to get lucky off a of scav, probably. I do want to do this one, so finding Saliwas, so we might actually go back to customs for that. And these obviously will just come across as we keep playing. So yep, I'm going to take this kit into customs, we've got a big backpack so hopefully we can do a bit of looting and things like that. My inventory is very messy, 
but we are looking pretty good on cash. So once we get another 200k or something, we can buy a junk box and just store all of this garbage in there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to hop into a customs raid. Okay, so biggest problem we're going to actually have with this kit is we... Oh, and it's cracked. That's not good. I was going to say we don't have a headset. So we're not really going to hear too much. I actually remove this up. Because that looks terrible with that crack at the bottom. Even though I repaired it. We're going to completely avoid this area. Just be wary of someone spawning in front of us. Just up here. Yeah, I really can't hear a thing. With this helmet on. Gonna really have to rely on seeing people in this raid. Someone's already shooting at me and I don't know where from. Possibly from in front, to be honest. This is not ideal. see anybody. Yeah, it's to my left here, I think. I'm just going to peel back and try reposition and take it relatively slow. Because I have no clue where he is. He's definitely from in front of me by the train, but I could not get a visual on him. I'm gonna try and run out this way. And we might just try and wait him out, to be honest. fully dead. That helmet was a big mistake. I couldn't even hear a thing. Jesus Christ. Plan for this raid is to do the search mission quest. And that is pretty much it. And we need to go this way, I believe. Really been struggling on this map. Don't know the spawns or anything. But yeah, we need to locate the convoy and the camp. So I believe this is the way I need to go. Better shoot him to my left, actually. A lot of shooting, actually, not a little bit. We're just going to be a friendly to me. And try and get this quest done. I believe this is the way to the convoy. If I'm not mistaken, just following this road. And I don't see anyone there. So we're just going to try run up to it. Not sure if it's safe to loot, but maybe we'll try and loot it too. Then we 
go between these two lakes over here. And then we should find the other camp, which we have to go and inspect, and then that should be the quest done. So after that we can just focus on killing some scavs, because that is the rest of that quest, of another quest, sorry. So if we can get this one done, I will be very happy. I'm not a fan of this map, so the less time I have to spend on it, the better for my sanity. But I do need to find, let's hope this is it. Is this it? This is it. Awesome. Okay. Let's check if that's complete. Survive and extract. Okay. So we do have to survive as well. Let's see if we can get some loot up in here. take anything at this point. So someone's actually already been here. Interesting. Need that for a quest. Let's hope we can actually make it out, please. Jeez. No indication of that happening, my god. I'm really hoping that there aren't more this way. That kind of spooked me out. <laughs> um, a successful raid, so maybe we'll sort of camp on that rock a little bit and try kill a scab or something. See what happens. Is that the chunker? We need it to be found and raid for that quest. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to get out. Take it as a win that we actually found that convoy and everything. You can always find more Tashonkas, but I don't want to come back to this map. I don't have to worry about it. And luckily it was a survived, so we can turn in that quest. And we have that Tashonka that we can turn in. So it was a relatively boring raid, but like I said, I really struggled to navigate around woods so the fact that I was able to do both and get out I mean alive I will take that um, when we go back on woods we just have to kill scavs so I don't really have to worry too much about finding things and dying and things like that um, so that's gonna be a lot easier but we will turn this in and good uh, yeah, uh, next video might come back to woods and we'll just be focusing on killing some scavs and actually trying to run into some players. So thanks a lot for watching.